Hey guys, hope y'all are well. Um, I mentioned this in the last video in the comments. Uh, it's an old Mac 300. I thought it was a 650 because the block has 650 on it too. It's kind of confusing, but to my understanding, they use that same 87cc engine in both saws, and there's not really a lot of difference in them. Um, Saws made around 63 or 64, I think, uh, maybe even 65. I just have to go back and look. Um, I've done covered 87 cc's. We got this thing, the engine was stuck. It didn't take a lot to get it unstuck. Just a little bit of WD-40 on the PTO bearing and a little bit of heat and it broke right loose. Thing had spark. Had one of those uh, black back carburetors. I actually still have that thing here. Um, we put a Tillotson HL on it. Um, I think I had to work on the starter cover. May have actually put one on it off of another saw. Full wrap handlebar. Um, has the big dogs. I put a CP directional muffler off of another saw on it. Um, 24 inch hard nose, it's a big 404 chain, that bar is rough, do not expect a straight cut out of it, but it will cut, um, thing been sitting in my building for all of about a year, I filled it up, just to drip a fuel down the carburetor, it fired right up, seemed to run good, um, these things usually do pretty good, they're pretty torquey, um, but I just thought I'd share this thing with you guys, just an old classic um i appreciate all the subscribers the comments the thumbs ups uh never thought this channel would grow at all i just kind of started it as a hobby um there's everything in the world on the channel but we've more leaned toward the saw side of things now um but anyway we'll go out back uh start this thing up and see if it'll make a cut saw don't cut bad at all it just there's not a lot of bar speed but it is a hard nose 404 chain and i think it's tuned at around 8500 8700 so uh actually it don't do bad at all and that's really hard wood we'll uh go over here and see if we can make a cut in something a little bigger <laughs> I really need to cut a bunch of this up. It's in the way.
Okay, so I really, really like that saw. It's just a little heavy, but that thing cuts damn good. Does it cut as good as a newer saw that size? No, but I think you can put that bar in about whatever size wood you wanted to, and it would pull right through it and do a damn good job of it. All right, guys, hope y'all enjoyed watching that. This is just something I like to pull out every now and then and play with. Um, that's the first time I'd really cut anything in the rounds with it or cut cookies. Um, back last year, I think I pulled it out. I had some big pieces of gum tree that, if you know anything about gum tree, it will not split. Um, especially if it's big, but I used this saw and noodled it all up. That's how I knew the thing cuts good, but um, you could take this thing into the woods and work with it. That chain and bar set up don't cut the straightest, but that's mainly the old wore out hard nosed bar. But from what I've seen, as long as you cut oil fed to the thing, it does really good. Um, this saw does have the auto oiler, and just like all the others, like this, it does leak. Uh, <laughs> I guess that's how they got the auto oil there. It just about pours right through onto the bar, but um, yeah, the old saw does really well. Um, and I believe it's sitting idle the tank went dry, so I guess the seals they made in the 60s were better than the modern seals. I don't know. Um, I've got saws here that ain't wasn't 20 years old and had to have crank seals and bearings put in them. And here this thing's almost 60 years old. And by the way it looked when I got it, it'd been run into the ground. And I don't know if I can show without getting into the view of the camera, but this saw has monstrous compression. It will about break your hand if it kicks back. Um, Hell, it's just an old classic. Um, but anyway, uh, we may or may not take this thing into the woods. I don't know. We'll just have to see. We may just take one day and load up all Max and go drop a tree and cut up a load of wood. Um, any questions on these old saws? I don't know everything, but I'm kind of knowledgeable on them. Just shoot me an email or put it in the comments. Um, but like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and everybody have a good one.